Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Kalas Tofles and in my last video regarding Bluetooth headset connectivity to the LG C1 OLED TV, I concluded that using my Bluetooth headset for PC gaming through a TV is not really an option due to audio latency issues. <laughs> What I did not test back then though was to switch the HDMI input audio format from Bitstream to PCM to see whether it would fix the issues or even alleviate them to a degree where it could be considered usable. After coming to this realization, there was also an update released to the TV which brought the version number up to 03.15.36, which coincidentally also changes the Bluetooth behavior. So in this video, I shall quickly go over what I noticed to have been changed with the latest update and what what were the results of changing the HDMI input audio format? So let's start off with exactly that. When I switched the HDMI input audio format over from Bitstream to PCM, I was hoping for a reduction in the audio latency whilst having the Bluetooth headset connected to the TV and having set the PC sound output device to LG TV. Unfortunately, either the decrease in latency is so minimal or it affects this specific setup with the headset so minimally that I found it very hard to hear any noticeable improvements in the overall audio latency. Maybe this is supposed to work with two wireless speakers and not with Bluetooth headsets, but I don't have any equipment to really test this feature any further upon. Another thing to note is that I just received the 03.15.36 firmware update on my LG C1 OLED and found out that there have been some modifications done to how the TV now reacts to wireless audio output devices. Starting from this version, whenever you connect a Bluetooth headset to the TV or most probably any wireless sound output device, you no longer have the option to keep the TV's picture setting in game optimizer mode. When such a device is detected, the TV will switch over to standard picture mode and remove the game optimizer mode from the selection list altogether. Why on earth did they make such a change and how did LG see wireless speakers affecting the selected picture mode where all the deeper image processing is already disabled is beyond me. What else is beyond my comprehension is the fact that LG does not make a full list of firmware changes made to the TVs freely available and easily accessible for the end users. I mean, there is the Korean release notes page, but after Google Translator has managed to chew through it, it gives out no real change log, just some political high-level mumbo-jumbo. Every time there is an update to the webOS, customers keep praying to the almighty LG lords that they didn't touch any of the already working features of their TVs. But that's a rant for another day. Uh, greetings, future me here. As I was just shooting the footage for this video, the issue where the game optimizer picture mode would get disabled when the Bluetooth headset gets connected to the TV seems to have disappeared. I do have the footage of the issue happening as you can see, but I am no longer able to replicate it on my TV. There were no firmware nor configuration changes done to the TV, so why it fixed itself remains a mystery. A mystery which I very much dislike, as TVs aren't supposed to have bugs. They're supposed to be straightforward display devices without any smarts to them, but those days are probably gone by now and I'm rambling again. In any case, if you enjoyed this short little video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for future content regarding OLEDs and PC gaming. Just don't touch that bell icon. It sucks. If you happen to know where one could get their hands on LG's firmware update release notes though, pop a comment down below as I would love to take a look at them in more depth. But as always, I thank you very much for watching and may you have a lovely rest of your day. Whenever, wherever you are. Bye bye.